Today, let's try N8N to build a whisper transcribing automation. Good news is it's completely free. Yes, you can download N8N and host it locally in your computer completely free. If you follow this video step by step, I guarantee you will be able to make this work even if you have never coded before. And before you follow my tutorial today, make sure you have three things installed in your computer. One is Python, and second is Node.js, and third one is FFmpeg. Okay, you can use the command line in your computer to download that, or you can simply go to these three different websites and download them. So it's really straightforward. And I'll include all the URLs where you can download all of them down in the description box below. Okay, by now, you should have downloaded Python, Node.js, and FFmpeg. Now open your terminal. That's verify these are all downloaded correctly. Okay, Python 3 dash dash version. Okay, you see a version number. Similarly for Node.js, we need to try two things. One is Node version number, perfect, X, awesome. And then for FFmpeg, it's a slightly different way to do this. Not two dashes, just one version. And it's going to output also a version number here. And then you don't have to care too much about the rest of the text. All you have to know is it's installed properly. So make sure you can say something like this before we move on to the next step. Now, we are ready to download the Whisper package to your local computer. But before we do that, we wanted to make sure that we have the updated pip version. So PIP, pip, is like a package installer for Python. Think of it as an app store. So if the package installer is not updated, sometimes it cannot search and find the right package for us and download it. What I usually do is retype Python 3 dash m pip install upgrade. Now it looks like I do have the right version. And then if you do not have the most updated version, it will update the package. Finally, we're ready to install Whisper to our local computer. And it's really simple, just one line of code. We're ready to use pip3 install. And some of you may have watched my Google Colab Whisper tutorial in the past, and you will see that the codes are slightly different here when we try to download Whisper in your local computer. So pip3 install git plus here, we give it a GitHub link. And don't worry, you will have all these codes down in the description box below. Okay, it's really quick for me because I have already installed all of these and it may take you a bit more time until the packages are all downloaded properly. So by now we have downloaded everything we needed before we can run NAN and Whisper in a fantastic automation. Now, before we do that, we need to set up our photo structure. Okay, so here you see I have a Whisper Files folder created on my desktop folder. And within that, I have three folders. One is the input folder. This is where I'm going to place the video or audio files to be transcribed by Whisper here. The workflow we're going to design is going to allow multiple file drops so it can be really convenient if you have, let's say, hundreds of audio video files to process. And then you only need to press one button and everything will be completed for you. So input folder, output folder is where we have the subtitles. So the whole idea is every time I drop a audio or video files, I want transcripts. I just put them in the input folder. For example, I have two audio files, test and test two here, and I would want to see SRT files for both of them here. And then after the transcription is done, I want to see these two audio files being moved in the process folder. Okay, let's get started and then we're gonna go back to the terminal. And trust me, 
We're really close. I promise this whole video is not going to be staring at the black box with a lot of codes. Now, time is here in 8N. What we have to do right now is NPX N 8 n in return. Um, you see, it's happening really fast. If it's your first time running NPX NAN, it will download a couple of packages and then it's going to take a little bit of time. It may also ask you to enter Y to allow it to make the downloads happen. So just go ahead and do that. And when you see this, it tells us it's now accessible in localhost 5678. Bingo. That's signal to go. And you can press letter O to open it in the browser quickly. I'm just going to do that. If it's the first time uh, using NAN, here you will need to register and create an account. And don't worry, after that step, everything will be stored locally. So you're not really uploading your audio to a cloud. So I'm just going to log in. And here you just enter your email address and password and sign in. Awesome. So when you log into NAN, we wanted to create a new workflow. Just click on this. And the first step would be a trigger. And let's first give it a manual trigger. So click at first step and select trigger manually. Now we've got our first node. Let's move it here. And what's going to be the next step? Remember our workflow? We want the system to detect the files in our designated input footer and transcribe them using Whisper. Okay, so the first step, you just click on this plus sign to add a new node. And this time we want a write files node. Okay, just type write and then select this one, read or write files from disk. Click on this one and select read files from disk. All right, and this is the settings part for the specific node. Under operations, keep it as it is, read files from disk. And here, super important, we wanted to tell this node which folder was the, was the correct path. So I'm going to paste in my input folder. Okay. So be really, really careful here. This is the input folder. If I want this node to be able to detect all the files in this folder, I need to add asterisk sign here. All right, so this is a mistake I made and wasted at least two hours of my time trying to find out reasons why things did not work. And just turn out that if you leave it blank here, it will not work. So remember to use the asterisk sign here. And also very important, you will see options here in our workflow. We do not need to at anything here. Because it's really easy if you feel like, gosh, I want to know what's going on here and then add options. Perhaps I need to add file name or whatever. No, don't do that. Trust me. Always click save here so we don't lose anything. Now let's give it a try. Let's click on execute workflow. Okay, green check marks. That's all we want. Let's open this. So remember that I have two test audio files in the input footer, and the system already correctly detected all of them. Um, so for example, for each node, when you open, double click each node, there is a left hand side an input panel, and on the right hand side, an output panel. So input in for this node is just a menu trigger. But output, it could be there are different tabs. Usually, we can just click on a table. It's easier for human understanding. So I've got two audio files. Perfect. And again, then what's going to be the next step? Next step, we're ready to use Whisper to transcribe the audios. So next step, click on plus. This time, we want to find execute command. Just select execute command here. And remember the input, we have the two audio files. And this time it's actually helpful to select schema. So we can drag the variables here to the command line. And here, really importantly, you see there's a execute once toggled on automatically. And we want it to complete one video's trans transcription before it went on to the next one. So let's uncheck execute once. And for the command, We'll do Python-m whisper. Now we'll give it the folder path. 
in my case, so I can actually enlarge this window here. Okay, remember in the second note, read and write files, we use the asterisk sign. But here, we remember we are transcribing one video or audio file at a time. So we're gonna drag file name from here. So, and then we're gonna tell it where we want the output directory to be. Okay, so this is the output folder. Now, here's really important. We can actually specify dash dash output format if you want all the transcription formats such as SRT, TXT, JSON. You can just put all here, or if you just want SRT, you can just say SRT here, okay? So for this demonstration, I'm gonna keep all. And then dash dash model. So I usually recommend the medium model, which is really amazing for the majority of the transcribing tasks. So I'm gonna put medium here and you can feel free to use large. It's just gonna take a little bit more time to process the transcription. Let's actually try execute step to see if it's working. Uh oh, I actually made a mistake here. This is not the output I want. Look here, right here, there should not be a space between the file paths in this variable. Let's remove this and then execute step. After the step, we should see the transcripts files being generated in the output folder. Wow, looks like this time things are working out. And uh, let's see in the folder, let's click on output. Bingo, in the output folder, we have all the transcription files for both audios. Now as a test, let's change the parameter from all to just SRT. Let's delete all of them and go back to the a and n panel here. Here, instead of all, let's do SRT and rerun this step. Okay, nose successfully run. Let's check out the folder. Terrific. Now we only have SRT outputs in the output folder. Perfect. And let's go back to the canvas. Ready for the last one? Remember, do you want to move the audio video files after being processed? We want them to be in the processed folder. Okay. The last node, let's click on the plus sign. And what type of node we want? It's still execute command. So select execute command. So here we do not need execute once. We're gonna do MV, move files in the input folder. And then here we can drag file name under read write files from disk here. We have to check that we don't want a space here right after. We have to get rid of space here. And then after that, we do need a space. And then we put the output folder pass here. Okay, let's enlarge this one so you guys can see it more clearly. Then execute. Looks like it's successful. Let's go back to the folder. So in the process folder, I now see those audios are moved to the process folder. And then go back to input. I should see nothing there. Perfect. And then output is just the SRT files we wanted. Okay, perfect. Go back to the canvas. With these four nodes, now you are having a automation system to transcribe audio and video files. Let's actually save it. And usually here, uh, I'll give the name, the Whisper Workflow, not a very creative name. Now you have a fantastic workflow where in the future, if you want to transcribe audio or video files, all you have to do is put your audio and video files in this input folder and then click execute workflow. It will generate transcriptions for all the video audio files in that folder. And then after completion, move audio video files into the process folder for you. Is that fantastic? And kudos to you. If you're still watching this video, congratulations and thank you for sticking with me for the complete process. And if you want to see more workflow automation tutorials with NAN, please leave me comments down below. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed today's tutorial. See you next time.